Hello guys, in today's video we're going to check out the best rugged smartphones in 2020. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I'll try to list them based on their price, quality, durability and more. If you want to see their price and find out more information about them, you can check out the links in the description below. If you'd like to win one of these products, make sure you watch the whole video, click the like button and comment the hidden word found in this video. Number 5. Ocatel WP5 the Ocatel WP5 Pro runs on Android OS version 10.0 out of the box. It comes with a LiPo 8000 mAh non-removable battery. It features a 5.5-inch IPS display with 720x1440 pixel resolution. The IPS display technology is one of the most leading LCD technologies in the world. WP5 Pro is 3G and 4G capable. This smartphone has a built-in GPS receiver. GPS is a satellite-based navigation system that allows the determination of the exact geographical location on Earth. The WP5 Pro comes with near-field communications, or NFC, functionality for transferring content with other NFC-enabled devices. The Ocatel smartphone has FM radio receiver. Smartphone sensors measure physical quantities and transmit them to the application processor. The phone's accelerometer is a built-in electronic component that measures tilt and motion. The fingerprint sensor is one of the most easiest and secure ways to protect your smartphone. The WP5 Pro has dual SIM capability, which means that you can insert two different SIM cards and use them both from one phone. The super large screen with high resolution will provide you an astonishing visual effect. It can smoothly run your applications without getting stuck, and the space is large enough to store your daily files like images, videos, etc. Number 4. Unihertz Titan if you're into smartphones with physical keyboards, this rugged one is quite unique. The Unihertz Titan is made out of metal and plastic. The phone feels incredibly sturdy, which has to be expected considering that this is a rugged smartphone. The sheer shape of the device is unconventional as its bottom has a slight spear shape while there's an arc at the top. The metal frame is accompanied by a plastic back and that backplate feels really sturdy as well. Nothing is creaking, it doesn't feel hollow or anything of the sort. There are even some metal accents on the back of the device, along with a single camera and an LED flash. The phone speaker is also placed on the back, unfortunately. The Unihertz Titan features a 4.6-inch HD+, 1430x1438, so the display almost has a perfect 1 to 1 aspect ratio. This is not great when it comes to consuming multimedia, of course, but it has other uses. This is an LCD display, by the way, and it's flat. On top of that, we're looking at 60Hz refresh rate here, nothing fancy. The Unihertz Titan is a truly unique smartphone, and just like the Atom, it'll divide opinions. For the price though, it delivers exceptional value for money thanks to that physical keyboard, a big battery and great hardware combo. Number 3. Ulephone Armor 9 The Ulephone Armor 9 smartphone released in 2020 is powered by a MediaTek Helio P90 chipset, 8GB of RAM and 128GB of internal storage. No big surprises when it comes to the design philosophy adopted by the Armor 9. This is a classic example of a rugged smartphone combining plastic, TPU and polycarbonate, and metal with glass. The resulting product is a behemoth. This is a relatively bulky smartphone at 168.2x82x15mm with a weight of 320 grams. That's partly due to the extra electronics used for the FLIR camera, the endoscope connector, the bigger battery and the extra padding and protection that comes with an IP68-IP69K rated MIL standard 810G certified outdoor smartphone. The Ulephone Armor 9 is the most accomplished rugged smartphone on the market thanks to the addition of an endoscope feature that nicely complements the FLIR Lepton camera on board. There are a few improvements we'd think of at this stage. 5G would be nice as well as VOC sensor, a 2D scanner and more faster onboard storage, 256GB maybe. But none of all this takes away the fact that Ulephone's new flagship smartphone is nothing less than an exceptionally good outdoor smartphone. Once again, Ulephone redefines the upper boundaries of what constitutes an exceptionally good rugged smartphone. With FLIR and an endoscope, the Armor 9 has the potential to become an essential tool in the arsenal of many tradespeople. Number 2. Blackview BV9900 Pro The Blackview BV9900 Pro runs on Android OS version 9.0 Pi out of the box. It comes with a LiPo 4380 mAh non-removable battery. It features 5.84 inches IPS display with 1080x2280px resolution. The IPS technology is one of the most leading LCD technologies in the world. 
Screen size is measured in inches diagonally from corner to corner. The 5.84-inch IPS capacitive touchscreen with 1080x2280px 2280px resolution is multi-touch capable. The Blackview BV9900 Pro is so close and yet so far. It's not as groundbreaking as the BV9800 Pro, but delivers a fantastic set of upgrades to warrant a very solid rating. Definitely the one to buy if you want the best FLIR smartphone out there. It has a smaller volume, 783 by 156.5 by 14.2 mm, and weighs less than the former Blackview flagship 264 grams versus 322 grams, while using the same material, metal frame for sturdiness, polycarbonate and TPU for improved grip, as well as giving it a tidier, more professional finish. I should also mention that it has a rear camera, 48 megapixels, 5 megapixels, 16 megapixels and 2 megapixels, and a front camera, Samsung 16 megapixels, which is amazing. As surprising as it is, we think that the BV9900 Pro is not perfect and will not therefore get a perfect 5 like its predecessor. A few reasons for that. Firstly, it's not as groundbreaking as the BV9800 Pro as it only brings in some significant but ultimately marginal improvements. There's still no Android 10 or 5G, despite the BV9900 Pro being a flagship model. Ditto for the lack of 256GB option and the smaller battery capacity. Number 1. Samsung Galaxy X-Cover Pro Samsung sent us the Samsung Galaxy X-Cover Pro, a rugged device that can take a beating. In addition, the device is dust and water resistant thanks to its IP68 rating. The big advantage of this device is that you can use it in all circumstances, for example on a construction site or in the catering industry, but also if you have a habit of regularly dropping your device. The Samsung Galaxy X cover was not made for intensive use by an office worker, as it simply lacks processing power and working memory. Using a couple of apps on the X cover Pro simultaneously is fine, but it's simply not suitable for dozens of apps. The Galaxy X cover Pro also has a series of cameras, two at the back and one at the front. We can be brief about this. The camera can take basic pictures, but you shouldn't have high hopes. It can still be used to take work-related photos, but we would rather use a different camera to take beautiful nature or family photographs. The Galaxy X cover features additional physical buttons on both sides that you can configure through the Samsung software. For example, you can choose to use a button for a walkie-talkie function or to launch a particular app quickly. In certain situations, this can improve the efficiency of a work process a lot something that can be very useful in the earlier mentioned scenarios. Ultimately, the device is best suited for people in an operational role, in which the device functions as a support tool and not as the primary workhorse. So, someone who works in construction or a field worker who is on the road for installations or repairs, but also as a point-of-sale system to take orders in the hospitality industry. Buying Guide Firstly, Security from all the rugged smartphone features, this is probably the most important one to consider as security is a big issue. As mobile becomes the norm in business, having a device that isn't sharing its info out without you knowing about it, it's not acceptable and possibly even the break in the law. Always ask about the operating system, where it came from, who developed it, as most of the cheap stuff coming out of China has all kinds of apps on them that would be a security manager's nightmare. Secondly, battery. As mobile is taking over businesses and our personal lives, battery longevity has become the number one issue we talk about day in and day out with prospective buyers. For enterprise devices, you need a really great big built-in battery. Add-on packs are okay, but costly. They also aren't rugged or waterproof and often add a level of complexity to the device, so a big base battery is what's needed. And thirdly, screen. Like with your smartphone, LCD screens need to be bigger these days. Typically, 5 inches is the sweet spot in the rugged world, but that's where the similarity ends. When buying your own personal phone, you're hoping to view movies, play games, and get the best colour from your LCD screen. So, pixel density, resolution, and the latest OLED panel tech is what you're after. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.